And this is the most famous statue on the Charles Bridge. It's the statue of St. John in memoriam to him being thrown off this bridge. Tourists line up in droves to touch the reliefs because uh, legend has it that it gives you luck. But what they don't know is you're only supposed to touch the relief of St. John, just the little portion with your left hand. Otherwise, you're never going to get the luck. I can feel it. Give me five. No? It's going to leave me hanging. It was first built out of wood in the 13th century, and it took nearly 50 years to build. And after some historical flooding, it's standing strong as a third generation stone bridge. As the best route to the old town, Charles Bridge is the symbol of Prague. And it's something you probably couldn't miss if you tried. The best part of, of the city itself is the castle, of course. And the most impressive sight in the Prague castle, without a doubt, is the cathedral. This is the St. Vitus Cathedral. It's the only cathedral in Prague and probably the most famous in Central Europe. Poor St. Vitus, he was a Christian, and because of that, he got thrown into a vat of boiling oil. Uh, but he was made a saint because he actually survived that. But he put on the uh, hot boil dance. They call it the St. Vitus dance. And the legend says that uh, that's where epilepsy began. And be sure to peek inside the sacred tomb in the middle of the cathedral known as St. Venceslas Chapel. So this is the Strohov Monastery, and it marks the end of the historical city here in Prague. It's one of the most beautiful libraries in Europe. And if you can read, you're really lucky because of two things. It has some of the strangest and most unique literature ever housed. And also, part two is that you're literate. Oh, yes. Wow. Wow. Does anybody know how to read Latin? So let's take a look inside one of the most well-known symbols of Prague, the astronomical clock. So this is the astronomical clock. It dates back like 600 years. People crowd the streets to see it chime every hour on the hour, and death rings the bell, and the saints put on a show. It's actually broken in an uprising in 1945. They fixed it like three years later. I think it only took like a bolt of lightning and 1.21 gigawatts of power. Actually, that last one, I, I think I might have seen that in a movie. Uh, I think I got, am I supposed to be here? I got lost on the tour. The figures of the apostles were added in the 1800s, and it's known today as the Walk of the Apostles, a cute but fairly disenchanting show. Nice work, buddy. 